Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> so um, the latest album, Psychic Warfare, big milestone for you guys. Uh, number one rock charts, number six overall on Billboard. How uh, how exciting was that for you and the rest of the band? Uh, well, it was definitely rewarding for us to be, you know, on our 11th album and still moving forward. So it's definitely very exciting to have all those, you know, chart positions early on in the album's release, for sure. Sure. Now, is that kind of like, uh, you know, there's always that talk out there, and you hear you hear people like uh, Gene Simmons last year, you know, Rock is Dead and this and that. Does it kind of like make uh, you want to just like shut people up and say like, no, it's not. Like, look how good we did. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, Rock will definitely never be dead. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I understand where he was coming from when he said that. Uh, maybe there's not a lot of young rock bands that are going to, you know, be catapulted into the arena rock status. Right. Uh, but I guess we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Time will tell. So now you guys are, you do, um, you have your own label. Now I was wondering too, like, I mean, you guys have been doing that since I guess about 08 or 09. Do you like doing it that way yourselves on your own label compared to being, uh, you know, tied to a, a label and having them having, you know, control over you guys, so to say? Uh, well, I think early on it was probably a necessity to be on other labels. Right. Um, but, you know, once, like you said, we've been doing our own label since 2008. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we were lucky enough to be in a position where we were on several different labels and, you know, we managed to keep going through it all and, you know, continue to move forward and gain new fans and sell, just continue to sell records. Right. And in uh, 2008, we started doing it on our, on our own. And, uh, you know, honestly, we've been more successful as far as chart positioning and as far as, you know, more people coming out to our shows, you know, with just one person working at the label. You know, we've only had to hire one guy to do this all. That's pretty so, amazing. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it is pretty amazing how much, you know, you – we were in a position where we were able to do it on our own. It's hard for us to, well, it's hard for me personally to, you know, tell a young band to, oh, just do it all on your own. It'll be so much better. It might not right. be so much better if you're doing it on your own early on. Um, but yeah, for us, we've had way more success doing it on our own. What do you think the the biggest reason being that I, I mean that's you would think that's a rarity especially in, in this age of the way the music business is and it's not a lot of sales um where you guys are actually doing better on your own than uh, a... I, yeah i think it's because we're a touring band and we play a lot of shows and we're always there in your face playing our new songs to you i think that has a lot to do with it and, and that's, um, I mean, that's the bottom line nowadays. I mean, you really have to be a true touring band to get the music out there. Absolutely. You sure do. Now, again, back, going back to the latest album, Psychic War Warfare, like what, the, what does that name mean? <laughs> uh, what does the name mean? Yeah. Uh, well, it's a, it's a lyric from the line in the song X-Ray Visions. Uh you know, it that line itself just kind of popped out to us and sounded like a good album title and worked very well with the artwork that Dan Winters was doing. So uh, that kind of just stuck. There, I, there was no real, you know, no real we're not reason. trying to, de yeah, we're not trying to declare psychic warfare on the people of Earth or anything like that. <laughs> we we just thought it sounded cool and looked cool. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't know if there was like a secret meaning behind it or something weird or you know, whatever, but yeah, I just thought it was cool too. <laughs> so uh going back to the band and all too, like um something else that's pretty rare with you guys is it's you four guys 
going back to 1991. I mean, clutch has been clutch. There's been no interchangeable parts for the last 25 years. What do you think that is? I mean, because that's a rarity nowadays, too. What do you think that big reason is? Uh, Well, I feel like it's the fact that we've always been moving forward and, you know, working on the next thing as far as, you know, there was a time back in the 90s where we could have, you know, just sat back and given up because, you know, all the labels had given up on us and, you know, we could have just sat there and felt sorry for for ourselves. But we've always continued to move forward artistically and uh, just keep writing new songs and putting out new albums and playing as many shows as possible. And, uh, you know, just the fact that we're all all in it together, you know, we're all equally part of, you know, the whole thing. Yeah. So yeah. no no one feels like, you know, maybe their their ideas have been left out or something like that. It's never been anything like that because everybody contributes equally. We all get together and, you know, write songs together, and we're all equally invested in each and every song, I would say. Cool. So I think that has been part part of the reason. I was going to say, do you, uh, do you guys get, like, younger bands nowadays coming up to you and asking for a voice on that? Like, how did you guys stay together this long? Uh, every once in a while. It comes up in interviews every once in a while, and... Uh, you know, sometimes my answer is it's a miracle to me too. <laughs> you know, it, it does seem pretty crazy that a band would stay together for so long. And I still truly feel like, you know, we're, you know, we have a lot to do. You know, we have a lot of songs to write. And we have a lot of shows to play. And, you know, we have a lot of people to play for. Cool. Now, how about, um, I mean, this is the, the 25th anniversary, you guys. Uh, anything special you guys want to do? or? Uh, we have not talked about that at all. Uh, we might just ignore the 25th anniversary and wait until the <laughs> 50th anniversary. There you go. Making a nice it, it really does. Come- it real, every time we go on tour and we do a new album, it really does seem you know, fresh and new to me, you know, it doesn't feel like, right. I, what I, obviously, you know, 25 years is quite a milestone for a rock band with the same four members. And yeah, I, it's uh, a miracle and I'm very happy to be part of it. That's awesome. Now uh, you guys got coming up to uh record store day next month, April 16th, you guys are releasing a uh, two songs on vinyl for a record. Uh, yep. With that, uh, yeah, yeah, we have uh, two two songs that uh, we recorded that we didn't put on Psychic Warfare. Uh, one was one that we played quite a bit live before the album came out, Mad Sidewinder, and then the other one, Outland Special Clearance, which. Uh, is an awesome song too. I love that song. So yeah, it's great to have another release out there. Now, did you guys and I like see another another label is putting? Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, did you guys like specifically uh, think that initially with those songs to do something like that, or uh, we knew that we would release them eventually, you know. Just figured it'd be something yeah. cool to do for Record Store Day. Yeah, exactly. We have one more song as well, so I'm sure the other song will see the light of day sometime. Cool. And you, you were about to say uh, you guys, uh, different labels putting that out? Uh Oh, no, I was just going to... What was that? Hello? 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 What was that? Do you hear me? I don't know. Yeah, I hear you fine. Okay, that was pretty weird. Did you hear that? It, yeah, it sounded like it died out for a second. Uh, I heard some kind of English lady cut in. Oh, no, I didn't hear that. <laughs> yeah, I heard an English woman on the... Yeah, okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I was just going to say, uh, it has come to our attention that there's another label that's also putting out uh, a re-release of one of our major label albums, Elephant Riders. Okay. 
So that'll be coming out for Record Store Day, but I think just in the UK. So I don't even know why I brought that up. <laughs> uh, now, is Psychic Warfare on vinyl as well? or? Yes, it is on vinyl. Okay. Now, how about that? I like the whole vinyl resurgence. Does that surprise you at all? Uh, it definitely did surprise me, uh, but I think it's great, you know? Yeah, I do too. I miss vinyl so much. I miss album covers, being able to hold an album cover in my hand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, over the past couple of years, I've definitely started to acquire quite a bit more vinyl than I ever thought I would. Yeah, it's crazy. And so are the prices. <laughs> the prices are outrageous now. It's amazing. Exactly. Right, exactly. Hey, it's keeping us in business. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> kind of make it up yeah. somewhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A, a lot of labels are doing that. They're making up quite a bit on vinyl because that's what, you know, true music buyers seem to want these days. Right. Now, how about also, too, the whole uh, Bam Margera connection you guys formed over the years? Do you think that was like a – do you guys see a big upswing from that? Uh, I don't know if there was a huge upswing in that. I We definitely made fans off Viva La Bam and stuff like that, for sure. Right. But I, I wouldn't really say it's been a huge, huge upswing. That was, uh, wow, probably coming up on 10 years ago now when we yeah, did yeah. the filming for uh, Viva La Bam. Because we had our keyboardist, Nick, in the band as well at that time. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, he definitely exposed us to a lot of people that never would have heard us, which is always great. Sure. Cool. And uh, you guys are getting ready to head out on tour soon, too. Uh, Lamb of God and Coercion of Conformity. Guys oh, ready? yeah. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. I cannot wait. That's awesome. Have you guys have you toured with either of those bands before, or? Uh, we have toured with Corrosion of Conformity quite a bit, actually. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that this next tour will probably be our fifth time touring okay. with just the four-piece COC with Pepper. And we've had the three-piece COC on tour with us uh, a few times as well. So we're very, very familiar with those guys. And we actually played one of our first... Uh, national shows opening for a national act it was probably our first show opening for a national act ever opening for those guys back in 91 i think wow so yeah we've known those guys forever that's uh that's gotta be a wild experience too i mean uh going back and thinking back to the 25 years ago when you're getting that first chance to open for a national act uh yeah and to think that we're still friends with them and we still play with them is even better. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. So, uh, 2016, the uh, rest of the year, what's the, what's the plan? Touring, touring, touring? Uh, yep. We have quite a few shows lined up for the rest of the year and, cool. uh, we'll continue playing shows into 2017 as well. Nice. Very, very good. So I'm sure we'll be coming through there quite a bit. Hopefully. And uh, where can everybody get not only the latest album, Psychic Warfare, but all the albums, merchandise, and et cetera? Uh, well, as far as merch goes, we sell it at uh, Indie Merch. Uh, so okay. IndieMerch.com slash, I think, Clutch Band. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but you can find it through Indie Merch. And, uh, yeah, we sell all of our stuff there and through the you know the normal sites all the weathermaker stuff is available and we have great a uh, great distributor so it's available pretty much everywhere you can easily nice. find any any of our vinyl online anywhere very good cool well tim i want to thank you for uh taking time out hanging out for a few well awesome thank you and, so much uh, for having me Absolutely. And uh, I don't see no tour dates for Philly yet, so uh, I, I know Philly loves you guys. Uh, we just played the Electric Factory pretty recently. 
Oh, okay. And uh, on the Lamb of God tour, we are coming through Reading. So I think that's right. probably okay. the closest to Philly. Yeah. Which isn't that far. No, it's been an hour. Yeah. Short little roll. Cool. Cool. If I can just get you to cut an ID for me, too, before I let you go, uh, you know, just Tim Salt of Clutch, and you're listening to Totally Driven Radio. I can do that. What's up? This is Tim Salt from Clutch, and you are listening to Totally Driven Radio. Awesome. Tim, thanks so much, man. Cool. Thank you. Yep. Take care. All right. Bye. Bye.